What is up, guys? We are back, and I and we are gonna survive the zombie apocalypse. So, if you guys ever thought of what would we do if there's a nerf zombie apocalypse, well, that's why I'm here. I did some more research. If you guys remember part one, I did some more research on what type of guns to use, and I got some more information. So, like I said, the Jolt and the Night Finder. What? We're gonna go to the pros and cons. I didn't go over those. The pro for the Night Finder: speed. And lightweight and small. And the cons are single cylinder. That's only mainly all oh, single cylinder and a slow reload. So that is the good and faithful jolt. I just noticed something dumb on the other side. Now the night finder. The other pros for this one. Well, it's bigger. It's a lot more lightweight, but. And it holds three darts, and it has, um, a laser. Now, if you guys remember, what could we do? Well, now the cons is, it's bright colored. It's not like any other, no, it's bright colored, okay? Um, and it's a single reload. It's not an auto-fire. But, of course, all auto-fires have to go down. So that's why they have these, and also the spring parts, and spring part takes a little longer. To reload and and cock and stuff. So that's that one. Now we're gonna be moving on to a stronger version, and that is the Flip Fury. The Flip Fury is actually a really good gun. It holds two six third cylinders, and they flip. That's what's called Flip Fury. The spring power. So now we're gonna go over the pros. You know, it has two cylinders. Um, it's a springy, and it's a Nerf brand. Now, let's go over the cons. It's bigger, it's bulkier. Um, this part jams, and it takes a lot of power. And it's possibly heavier than it'll weigh you down. Now we're going to move on to the shoddy gun. The shotgun, mm, we could rely on. Like the sink fire, we could rely on the sink fire. Oh, like some of you guys are going to say, what are we going to do with the sink fire? Well... <coughs> Pros, shotgun, hand me hand cocking mechanism, maybe bigger. So and also it's nerf. Also it's a zombie straight. So it's gonna kill zombies. Cons, it's big, it's heavy, and this part of dreams, you don't you don't pull it if you don't cock if you don't cock it far enough where it's supposed to go. It's gonna jam. It's not gonna shoot. That's the con, pros and cons for this one. Now, the pros and cons for the rough cut. The pros. It's a slam fire. Um, so, yeah, it's a slam fire. You can hold it kind of like this. And holds eight darts. And it's, it holds eight darts. And it's a nerf. Cons. Well... It's bright colored. You wouldn't, if you strike out in a tundra area, you'd use the handle. You'd paint all the, you'd paint all the, all the rest of the white stuff, all the rest of the orange stuff white. That's what you'd practically do and leave the gray. Um, other cons is it can slow you down and how big it is. It's not as big as any other guns like the Rhino Fire or the Stampede. But still, guns like this can weigh you down. Trust me. Now the next one I didn't feature in my other one, so I'm going to be building up and building up, is the Barrel Break. You guys might see this, but this is um, from a total different incident that happened. But let's just go. Um, the pros, it is a shotgun, lightweight... And it's nerf. Now the cons. It's a double barrel. Makes a lot of noise when you reload it. And it's bright colored. Now if there's a design apocalypse, you need dark colors. Like really, really dark colors. Not too dark. You need to blend in. So this you'd want to paint. You want to paint all this. That's what you want. That's what you would want to do. Next one, guys, we're moving on to the Great and Faithful Silence. Silent ones. Like I said, if you guys remember, the bowie knife 
But now I've now there's more pros and cons. Well, the pros is it's one handheld, kind of like a pistol. Um, you can walk up to a zombie, cut him in half, or you can just bash him in the head. Now, if they're getting too close, there's a there's this. So that was this is one whole con. It's one whole pro for this. You can just punch him in the face. Now the other pro, it's a nerf. Now the cons. It, right here is bright colored. The rest isn't that bad. It's foam. But off of that. But also another con. You have to get really up close to a Zambi. Next one is a great one. I really like. Uh, this is all not going to be that much nerf. I'm going to have other materials you can use the you have around your house. Next one is the crossfire bow. Um, well, the pros. It is. Um. A nerf holds eight darts and a lightweight, but and also it could blend in. The cons is you the bullets like you'll shoot out of this one, this one will fall out. You shoot out of this one, the bottom one will fall out. So yeah. Other cons is you can't carry that much bullets, and also it doesn't come with stock. You'd have to use your own stock. Stuck your own. If you don't have a stock, you're screwed because you won't be able to stabilize your shot. Now, the next one we got, guys, the last but not least, I know you guys can say it's not nerf. Zambi Apocalypse. I know this isn't a real guitar, it still do the job. What I have right here is I have a guitar hero. I have a guitar hero guitar. Um with what I can do if they if zombies ever get too close. I just pull this part out, and now I gotta do is I just got this. It'd be easy because it's a straight out melee. Yeah, you just smack them in 